안 뱀해. 스포일러 알 스포일러 알 스포일러 알 So now that I can actually talk about spoilers because oh my god, it was so hard making that review. I didn't know what to say without giving too much away. I only went out. I tried to go off of, if I spoiled anything. I'm sorry. I feel bad for anybody who had a review end game whenever it first came out because oh yeah, buddy. So okay, guys. So. The Long Halloween is one of my personal favorite comic books of Batman. It's actually probably my favorite. I have the absolute. I showed them in the last video. It followed a lot of the Long Halloween, like Catwoman revealing that uh, Palcone. Is it that one or is it one in Rome? Anyways, but that she is the bastard child of Falcone and the slow burn of the film and the way they depicted Riddler really really man I gotta give myself props and I'm doing that in the most humble way that video I made back in the day I think it was my second video I called it I got a lot of those right I got and his comic book uh, inspirations are gonna be year one earth one from what it sounds like zero year obviously you could tell from the bike Long Halloween, and he also said from Darwin's Cook, Ego. I know my shit. Kinda, sorta. I think my sister knows more, but she's not in the video. But I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so the thing is with the Batman is that I didn't like how they went so realistic with it. I think I said that in my last video. Batman's cool. Like, I don't know why filmmakers are so afraid to take that next step. I think the closest we'll get to actual Batman in a fight is probably the Ben Affleck fight. I love the way they introduce Batman. In the shadows, you can't tell whether it's him. The slow mood, the slow build up, like just hearing his footsteps. It feels like a Western at some points. The introduction to Batman was pretty great, but too bad he couldn't fight like that for the rest of the movie. The hell are you supposed to be? I'm vengeance. Penguin really stole the show. I cannot wait for his show. I'm pretty sure that they're gonna bring the Batman into that show because it is his world. I mean, it would make sense to bring Pattinson in. I'm pretty sure he's got a big deal that we probably don't even know of. And with Penguin basically giving up Falcone, really left the power grab. It was really of a power move for Penguin. And I like the way they depicted Penguin in this because he seemed less goofy with the long nose. He seemed like more off the Arkham games, more of a mobster type. I really did like that aspect to him that they added. And I like the way they did Riddler. Like from Earth 1 Volume 2, they have the Riddler a lot like the way they depicted him in here. Oh yeah, one more thing before I forget. So does Riddler know that Batman is Bruce Wayne? Also, is this going to teach Bruce that he should be using both identities to fuel each one of them? Because we didn't really get the Bruce Wayne, you know, the guy that fakes like oh yeah i'll go do the meetings or whatever so hopefully in the next few sequels we'll actually get him actually using his bruce wayne persona to help with his family's wealth the boring stuff he doesn't want to do to help finance batman we might get batman inc that'll be cool but so just let me know down in the comments so riddler does know that batman is bruce wayne right or was i tripping I wanted to tell you all that before I forget. But I also got elements of... I don't know if any of y'all watched that show on Netflix before it got canceled, unfortunately. Mindhunter, I got a lot of vibes off of that. The way they depicted him and the similarities between him and Batman. The orphan stuff, but the way they both grew up and the way they both diverted. Even Selena. She had trauma too, and she dealt with it in her own way as well. And I love their dynamic. Yeah, it sucks that we're gonna, that they split up at the end, but it's like in the comics, especially in the Tom King run, which I haven't read, but I know the Tom King run, 
A lot happens the same way with her already knowing that he's not going to leave the city, which is a lot like the Hush comic. I don't know if y'all saw that little subtle reference. And going to references, they really embrace the whole Wayne, which they could end up bringing Court of Owls. That would be very interesting. Hush, they might. That would be cool too, but they would need more villains. But I don't know. We'll see what happens. We'll see. I'm excited. Because if you all seen his Planet of the Apes movies, Matt Reeves, Planet of the Apes, the first one he didn't direct, but the second and third one, they kept building upon each other. And I feel like this is going to be the same way. I don't know if they're going to go with the whole Joker. I kind of don't want the Joker. Just the thing, because I'm kind of burned out on Joker. Oh, yeah, so the guy at the end, that was Joker. Matt Reeves confirmed it, and he said it. It is Joker. They even had to delete a scene with him, I think, with Batman or another character. So the actor that's playing as Joker is the guy from Eternals, the one who controlled minds. I forgot his name, but that was him. They even had to shoot scenes with him in, as a cop to throw people off just to, just to keep him in the movie, which... But I don't know how they're going to do Joker, like, clown makeup again. Like, dude, we all want to see Killing Joke. We all want to see that Joker. Like, dude, wh why is it so hard for them to lean on the stuff that makes... I mean, Batman has passed 80 years. There's a reason why these characters stand the test of time. And it's not by making them realistic. It's not why we go to the movies. We go to the movies. Indiana Jones. Like, it's... You know that stuff doesn't happen, but we want to see it. But, like I said on Earth 1... Hold on, let me switch this out. Earth 1, also, Alfred did train him in that one, like he did in this movie. And the the scene with Alfred, when he got, okay, after that, the mishap that he nearly blew up, I got really scared for Alfred for a second. I thought he died. I was like, oh, shit, dude. <laughs> Damn, they really went there. But no, he was okay. But, but this isn't Batman with the ninjas. No, he kind of raised him but i think this is still early batman he doesn't know how to he's still learning to become the person that he's gonna become which is also a great experience but that scene in the hospital with alfred really was a touching scene i that had to be one of my favorite scenes in the film with him accepting that he did raise him that he is close to him and what his father did what he didn't want to tell him it was real. It was a real moment that he wasn't concerned about his political career aspirations. It was about his mom. I mean, I think that is the most human thing possible that they could have done. But that last scene with Batman at the end. Okay, so what did y'all think? Did y'all think that some of the Riddler cases, I mean, some of the Riddler riddles were a little too easy? My sister got some of them, so I don't think it was just me. But y'all let me know. Um, I feel like they could have worked on those a little more. And I feel like since it is a detective story at the end of the day, we should have got a little more twists and turns. Sort of like the way Knives Out was. Like we could have got something like that. Maybe they could do that for the next one. But I really do hope that they, they step it up and probably make it shorter because we didn't need all that. And that ending credit was not worth it. After they wrapped up with the whole Falcone thing, I feel like it should have ended right there. Or it got wrapped up in a way. Man, that last scene, the one where you finally realize that here's what we want from a Batman movie of becoming a new hope for the people of Gotham. This was my favorite scene when he reaches out and he's doing it just to help after trying to sacrifice and cutting the wire off with him reaching out his hand and the kid takes it instead and with everybody reassuring well if the kid trusts them maybe we should trust them as well and it was sort of like a reach for hope that's what i got from it and i really loved that scene that scene really cements this as what batman really stands for for gotham city that was my favorite part of the film I don't, let me know oh since i'm already on that let me know what y'all thought of the movie and what was your favorite scene? And did anybody else get goosebumps when that engine revved up?
man. Oh, that is easily one of the best Batman like car chases. It was just a car chase, and that that shit hit, man. That ooh, man. That was that was it right there. That was a that was a cake. But yeah, so I'm gonna have this as a giveaway as long as you like and share the video and make sure you follow me on instagram and i will send you this and i will give you a free graphic novel of batman and yes i will do that how to get into batman comics video because it was requested and that batman omnibus on the buses on the omni buy review well the scott snyder series review let me know what y'all thought of the movie and as always guys take it easy deuces y'all